Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I haven't filmed for you guys in about three or four weeks. I have truly missed filming for you guys. It's just that I've been really busy lately. But today I had time, so I sat down, did my makeup, and decided to film for you guys today. I am gonna be doing my July favorites. So if you guys want to see what were my favorites of the month, stay tuned and continue watching. So my two favorite eyeshadow palettes that I have been loving. For the past two months, actually, because I didn't do my favorites last month, are the Morphe um, 350M and 350S. These are beautiful, you guys. These are gorgeous. This is the 350M. Like, hello. This, baby, is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I absolutely love Morphe eyeshadows. These these are my first ones. Um, I don't have any any others, but these are just so beautiful. You can tell what shade I dig into, like real real good. Um, but I just love these eyeshadows. They're so creamy. They're so pigmented, and they blend out like a beautiful beautiful dream. Um, also, I have been loving the the Ipsy and ColourPop palette that I created as I mentioned in my previous video that I created at Generation Beauty. Um, these shades are definitely my shades. Um, they're just perfect you guys. They're just perfect. I can't say enough good things. I have been using it ever since that video. I've been going back to this one or going to my twins and yeah I just love them. Also, I have been using these um, blotting sheets that I got at Daiso. Um, I don't know the brand. I just know that I got them at Daiso. Um, and I have used this on myself, on my brother, on my boyfriend, on my mom. I've used them on, on everybody and it works really, really good. It doesn't take off your makeup like other blotting sheets, so that's a plus. But yeah, I have been loving this bad boy right here. Also, I have been loving, um, which my girl Nageli gave to me in the swap video. Shout out to you, girl. Um, this is a hard candy sheer MB coconut water primer stick. <sighs> That's a long name. But, oh my goodness, you guys. This thing works amazing. It just feels so, so good on your face. It's just Perfect, perfect, perfect. And it smells so, so good. It just smells like, I don't know what it smells like. It just feels like, it smells like freshness. Like, I don't, I don't know. It just smells so, so good. You guys need to try this out. It leaves my face so smooth. Earlier today in the morning, my nose was hella dry. And I just applied this all over my nose. And oh my God, it made it much, much softer. But girl, thank you for the hard candy primer because this thing is my bae. This thing has been my go-to. I don't do my makeup if I don't use this. Also, I have been loving the Clinique moisturizer that I got at Generation Beauty as well. Um, I did swatch it. You can't really tell. But I did swatch it. Um, let me just apply it. So it does have, okay, there you go. Like, there is a little bit of glow. Um, and that is because it does have a little bit of, of shimmer in it. But I don't mind because I have combination skin. Another product I've been loving, it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Oh my god. This primer has changed my life, you guys. It's the first high-end primer I have. Um, other than the hourglass one, because the hourglass one is, it's a travel size or a sample size. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, don't quote me on that one. But this is full size and oh my goodness, I love it. It works amazing on my skin. Um, I don't know what's in here, but it just works like a dream. And I have been using this ever since my last video as well. Another thing I have been loving is the Pixie by Petra Mascara. Oh my goodness, you guys. This 
is so, so beautiful. I don't like doing it alone because I don't see a change in my eyelashes, if you get what I mean. Um, I do mix it with another, not mix it, but I do apply it with another mascara. I, I could do the White and Wild one or the CoverGirl one or the Maybelline one. Either of those work beautiful with this, but just alone, I don't quite like it, to be honest. But combined with other mascaras, it's beautiful. It is what I am wearing on my eyelashes today. Um, but yeah, that, that is that. Also, I have been loving the ColourPop eyeliner. Is it an eyeliner or... Let me see. Cream Gel Liner. So, this also my girl Nayeli gave to me in the swap that we did. By the way, if you haven't checked that video out, check it out because she sent me some amazing, amazing goodies. And we do plan to do a video of her using the things I got and me using the things she got me. But, yeah. So, that's how the shade looks like. It's like a bronzy type of color. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Um, it is what I have been wearing on my waterline when I don't wear my regular eyeliner in black. Now, also, for the brows, for the brows, um... I have been using, well, I've been going back to my Milani Stay Put Brow, no, Stay Put Brow Color, there you go, my Stay Put Brow Color, or I switch it up to my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Pomade, and this is in this shade, Medium Brown, the Anastasia one, and the, the Milani one, it's in the shade Brunette. Now they do look like different colors, but they do work amazing on my on my eyebrows, and I just switch back. Sometimes I'm in the mood for Milani, sometimes for Anastasia. It just all depends. Today I'm wearing the Milani one as well. I don't really see a, a difference, just like in the color, but other than that, when I want my eyebrows a little bit darker, I go with the Anastasia one. And what else do I have? Oh, yeah. I have been using to set my eyebrows the Benefit Gimme Brow. Oh, my goodness. This is so amazing. I don't, I'm really, really debating if I should purchase the full size or try the Essence one. Because I know that a lot of people say that es the Essence one is a dupe for the Benefit one. And I really, really want to give that one a try because... I love this one so, so much. It is what I am wearing on my eyebrows as well. So, I think tomorrow I'm going to go to Ulta. So, hopefully I can spot it and pick the Essence one up to try it and compare it on my eyebrows. Next thing I have been loving is the Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer. This is how it looks like. Um, I also did use this in my previous video. And you guys, this is just perfect. Another eyeshadow that I have been loving lately. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. And I know I have talked about these before. Um, but this is in the color uh, Golden Emerald. Oh my god, you guys. I have been using this um, lately. This beautiful color. Oh my god, it's just so perfect, you guys. It's so, so, so perfect. Let me just put it here, and let me just give you guys one swatch. Look at this. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful green color. I have been using this on my eyelids as well, and oh my god, it's just so perfect. Um... And I rock it with a nude lip or a color, like a little mauve type of color. What was this blend? But anyways, um, I have a couple more goodies. Um, I want to go on to my highlighters. And now, seriously, you guys, one really surprised me because 
uh, in my highlight tag that I did, um, also in collaboration with my girl Nayeli, um, I did mention a gel JLB highlighter and that it was not pigmented, that it was so natural, like blah, 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 blah. I was talking so much shit, right? And I, I decided to pull out the one that's in 04 Sand Glow. And I don't, okay, I don't, I don't know. Like, you could barely see it, you guys. You could barely, barely see it. Like, but on the face, it changes. Like, it just, it looks so beautiful. It looks so perfect when you want to go for, like, a natural highlight. And I know I said I don't like wearing natural highlights. But when you're in a hurry and you don't got time to pack on, to pack on the highlight, like, trust me. This baby comes in handy. Not the green one, obviously. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's... I've been loving this one. How I said, this is Instant Glow. So beautiful. I love it. And yes, yes, I bit my tongue. It was another color, though, in that video. That one was like... If, if, if I need to compare it, I will. But I think this one's a bit more pretty and more pigmented, or I don't know. I don't know, you guys, but yeah. The other highlight is this one by Makeup Revolution. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. This highlighter is amazing. This highlighter is perfect. This is in the shade Golden Kiss. I love this highlighter. It is what I am wearing today. And I am wearing another highlighter, which you guys will see in a second. But this thing is so affordable. So affordable and it's very pigmented and it just blends beautifully on the skin. And I absolutely love it, you guys. Now, this highlighter took me forever, forever to find. And I was so happy when I finally found it. And it is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. It's not Mega Glow. Yeah, it is Mega Glow. Highlighting Powder in the shade um, Precious Petals. Oh my goodness, everybody would rave about this highlighter and be like, it's the bomb, it's the bomb, it's the bomb. And I'd be like, okay, let me try to get it. And every time I'd go to the drugstore, I could never, never find it. And then I went to the drugstore and trust me, it was, there were two left actually. There was one that was obviously broken and then there was another one which was this one, and I was like, oh my god, I have to see if it's not broken, blah, 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 and it wasn't, and that is how it looks like, <gasps> oh, so gorgeous, you guys, like, mm-hmm, so, so perfect, it's so gorgeous, I love it, it looks beautiful on the skin, it does have a little bit of shimmer, but I don't mind, I'm gonna swatch the Makeup Revolution one, because I just want you guys to see how gorgeous it is. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Look at this. Yes, highlight, highlight, highlight. But yeah, those are, those have been my favorite highlighters for the moment. My next product is this baby right here. It is a sample size. It is by Jouer Cosmetics, and this is an essential lip enhancer. Um, I just love applying this when I have dry lips or just... Just because, um, I just love the way it makes my lips look. It makes them look full. It makes them look juicy. It looks beautiful, you guys. If you guys haven't tried this baby out, definitely you should because I love it. I love it. And my other three products are my lip products. And I'm going to start off with the one I am wearing right now. This is by The Bomb Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Reliable. Oh my goodness, you guys saw this in my full face first impression, like, you guys, <sighs> this shade is so perfect, it is what I am wearing right now, this shade is perfect, I love, 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 love all of my The Bomb Liquid Lipsticks, I just love The Bomb in general, their eyeshadows, their highlighters, um, what, their liquid lipsticks. Everything, everything, everything. Um, I still do need to try out other goodies from them. But so far, everything I've tried, I have truly loved. 
um, the other color, which literally, you guys, let me tell you guys a little story. I thought I lost this. I would look everywhere for it. It was nowhere to be found. Um, I was so disappointed because I got this online, etc., etc. And one day I went to my boyfriend's house and I went through my makeup collection because I have makeup there too. I went through my makeup collection just because. And booyah, I found it. And I was like, oh my god, like, I've been looking everywhere for you. But this is Gerard, the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Cream in the shade Destiny. What will Lily do? Created this lip cream and it's just beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Um, I did get the chance to meet her. I will insert a picture at the end of the video so you guys can see that I met her. Um, she was such a sweetheart. She was just amazing. She's so tall, you guys, and beautiful. Anyways, I'm going off top topic. Her lip cream is beautiful. I have tried it before. But how I said, I thought I lost it, so, and I'd always say, where is it? It's a beautiful color, and it's that color right there. It's so gorgeous, you guys. Like, I love this shade. This shade is gorgeous. Oh, my God. If you guys haven't tried Gerard Cosmetics in general, you guys should. The highlighters, the lipsticks, the lip cream, the setting spray is amazing. I totally, totally love the brand Gerard Cosmetics. But, hello, this color, gorgeous gorgeous and last but not least is um another liquid lipstick and this is by the sh by the brand i thought the the brand name was leak how it says right there leak but i found them on instagram and it it's actually lick like lick and i was like okay but anyways um it doesn't matter lick Lit Cosmetics, oh my god, it sounds so wrong. But anyways, I love the packaging of the Lit Cosmetics liquid lipstick. They're gorgeous, and you guys, oh my god, these don't move anywhere. These are not going anywhere. These are just so perfect. The smell is so, so good, you guys. And let me do a swatch right here. Look at this color. <gasps> yes. Could you guys tell? Like, I love similar shades. Like, but anyways, um, this shade is so gorgeous. I love the applicator. I love, love the packaging, you guys. Like, look at this. Like, look at this, baby. It's gorgeous. It looks so luxurious. I don't know. Personally, I think it looks luxurious. Um, but oh my god. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. I do have another nude color. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I will. Will, will soon. And I know they have some metallic ones. Girl, I need to get them. I need these um the lit cosmetics liquid lipsticks are only available at Kohl's or online at Kohl's.com only. Um I do live very, very close to Kohl's, so I was fortunate I could just go in there and just swatch, swatch, swatch. Um I did swatch a color and I fell in love with it. So best believe this girl's gonna go back and get it. And well, yeah, you guys, that is it for my favorites video. I know I didn't include any skincare, and believe me, I have been using a new routine other than the other one that I posted a while back. Um, I do want to try to do an updated one, but this time I want to do it on camera, filming myself. But I'm not quite sure yet because the bathroom lighting is really, really bad, you guys, really, really bad. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to just, again, sit down and talk about the products that I did in that video or just try to do it, try to film it. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, even with the bad lighting, I, I'm definitely going to try my best because I do want to show you guys, um, the new things I've been using and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, you guys.